In this video, we'll walk through the basics of getting Simvana up and running on a MetaQuest headset. Before we start, make sure you have your headset set up and you are comfortable with basic VR controls. If you are new to VR, check out the videos and links provided below this video before continuing. You can download and install Simvana from the Metastore. Start by opening up the Metastore app. Then search for Simvana Anesthesia in the search bar. Select Simvana Anesthesia from the search results. Click View and Store on the app page. Click the Get button. This will link Simvana Anesthesia to your Meta account. Head back to the application screen. Here you'll see Simvana Anesthesia grayed out in your available applications. After installation is complete, the Simvana icon will light up. This means it's been installed and you can begin using Simvana. Click on the Simvana Anesthesia icon to launch the app. After Simvana launches, use your Simvana username and password to log in. Click on each input box and type in your credentials with a virtual keyboard. Click Submit to log into Simvana. From the main menu, you can access all of Simvana's content. Mastery lessons and scenarios host a library of learning content. Operating room mode allows you to freely explore. Tutorials help get you familiar with using Simvana, and settings allow you to customize your experience. You can point the laser with your controller at any option and click the trigger on the front of your controller to select it. Let's head into settings first. Within the settings window, you can change how you interact with Simvana. The locomotion options have the greatest effect on your Simvana experience. In sliding mode, you will glide across the ground when you tilt your thumbstick. In teleport mode, you will pick places to teleport to and move instantly. Sliding will give you finer control over your movement, but teleportation is better for those sensitive to motion sickness. Smooth and snap turning are similar. Smooth turning will allow you to continuously turn when you tilt the thumbstick. Snap turning will turn you in discrete amounts. Feel free to explore all the options and customize Simvana to your liking before moving on. Back in the main menu, we'll select the Mastery Lesson section. The Mastery Lessons are broken up into different modules and categories. For example, the Machine Basics 1 module has several categories of lessons that cover the anesthesia machine. Further down we have categories on things like ventilation and drug administration. Within each category are sets of lessons. Here you can select a specific lesson, read more about it, and then start by clicking the begin button. Before starting the lesson let's go over some basic controls. Use your left thumbstick to move around the operating room. In sliding mode the direction you tilt the thumbstick is the direction you will move. In teleport mode, tilting the thumbstick will make a holographic ring appear. When you release the thumbstick you will teleport to that location. Use your right thumbstick to turn your body. Tilting it to the right will rotate your avatar right, and tilting to the left will rotate your avatar left. Use the grip button on the side of the controller to interact with objects. First, reach your hand into an object until it highlights blue. Then squeeze and hold down the grip button to grab the object. While held, you can interact with the object. Switches and dials can be moved and spun just like in the real world. Other objects can be picked up and moved as needed. When you are done with an object, release the grip button to let go. If you accidentally drop an object and want to pick it up, you can either bend down and grip the object, or use the flick functionality. To flick an object back to your hand, point your hand at the object and hold down the grip button. A blue laser should appear. When the laser is pointing at the object you want, squeeze and hold down the trigger. With both buttons held down, quickly flick your controller back to bring the object close to you. From here you can reach out and grab the object like normal. Certain objects like the breathing bag or low pressure test bulb require you to squeeze the object. To squeeze an object, grip the object like normal by reaching your hand into it and holding down the grip button. While holding the object, squeeze the trigger button, this will squeeze the object. The amount you squeeze the trigger button will determine how hard you squeeze the object. Now let's complete the lesson. Lesson content will be presented from a blue panel like this in the operating room. Mastery lessons contain a variety of learning content, including images, videos, questions, and interactive objectives. Interactive objectives often have hint markers guiding you through the process. 
At the end of the lesson you will be able to progress to the next lesson or return back to the main menu. If at any point during a lesson you want to stop using Samvana, simply press the menu button on the left controller to bring up the pause menu. From here you can return to the main menu. In the main menu you can exit Samvana completely. We hope this video will help get you started with Samvana. If you have any issues with Samvana please reach out to us at support at samvana.com.